Hi, this is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today I am wasting my money so you don't waste yours. And that's kind of the operating title of this video, which brings us to the subject of this video, and that is the ICOM ICT-10. Finally got one. Um, they started delivering in the past week or two, so I, I went ahead and snatched one up. Been waiting for a while when they first made the announcement on the radio. I did an initial thoughts video where I discussed based on the stated features, um, what I thought the radio would end up being. And it was pretty obvious from the specifications what they were going after was the ASU FT65 side of the market, being that it's a dual band analog HT 200 channel capability with weather and shock resistance. So kind of the same cats that we're dealing with here, but the big difference is 90 bucks, 240 bucks. So what would prompt me to, to go, I, now this is assuming also, by the way, and this is an assumption I made, and it was a very incorrect assumption that I made, that this would be every bit as good as the FT-65. So I figured, if this is as good as the FT-65, and it has the addition of being IP67 rated versus IP54, that means this is submersible, this is splash resistant, and if it has the channel control knob, which it does, and the FT65 does not, and I wish it did, uh, would it be worth the extra money? Not really, but the ICOM name and the general build quality and attention to detail that ICOM usually, usually puts into their products, I figured it would be worth the investment, so I went for it. And boy, oh boy, am I a disappointed boy. Um, so here's the deal. I, this is not a full review. This is just my initial thoughts based on having received this radio yesterday and having used it for the past 24 hours, fiddling around with it. I programmed it up, um, charged it up. I made some contacts with it. Um, I have got a feel for it, but I am going to wait just a little bit before I do the actual review, and I'll tell you why. I am disappointed to the point of a little bit of sadness that has now turned into a little bit of anger that has turned into a little bit of resentment, which has turned into a little bit of, I want to say things that I probably shouldn't say. So I'm just only going to say this. I'm going to give you, and, and you're going to have to wait for the review, but take it from me. This is not as good as the FT-65, okay? If you were to put these two radios head to head, feature to feature, and have a little bit of a contest, this radio only wins against the FT-65 in two categories. That being you can toss it in the water and you can adjust the channel from the top of the radio. Beyond that, the FT-65 absolutely smokes this radio in every category, and that is sad, because I didn't want it to be that way. I wanted this to be a gen I genuinely wanted this to be a good radio. I was looking forward to it. I was expecting a lot out of this radio, but I wasn't expecting anything unreasonable. I was not expecting to have as many features as like an ID-51, and, and I just wanted it to do what the FT-65 can do. And this radio can't. And in the review, because I don't want to turn this into a 45 minute video, in the review I'm going to point out just how many things this radio can do that this radio not only will not but cannot do. Um, and that's, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate because a $90 radio is absolutely smoking this $240 radio all day long. So the best way I can sum it up my initial assessment of the ICT-10, and I'm sorry if this disappoints anyone out there or pisses anyone off. It's not my intention to do this. I'm not enjoying saying this. This is the ninth take I've done on this video because I get really pissed off and upset because I'm not kidding. I wanted this to be an excellent radio. I wanted this to be my, la my next badass radio, something to really give the VX6R a run for its money, something that could be useful, not only to me, but to you. Sorry about that. But what I got in the end was a very mediocre radio in a very pretty package. That's all it is. So, if you're thinking about buying one, don't do it based on my recommendation because my recommendation is no. Don't do it. Don't waste your money. It's not worth it. Um, sorry, 
but it is what it is. Full review will be coming in probably after the weekend. Uh, I want to use this thing throughout the weekend, give it a fair shake, calm down a little bit, and then kind of line it out and sort of lay out everywhere where ICOM has absolutely crapped the bed with this radio. So uh, with that, I will bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee in Southwest Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.